welcome you all to this video. Today we will see the misconceptions associated with the construction of the quadrilateral. The teacher asks this question in class. How many minimum values are required for the construction of a unique parallelogram? The answers of Charu, Meera and Sonia are as follows. Charu, 5. Meera, 2. Sonia, 3. Can you tell whose answer is correct? and why. So let's see why Charu would have chosen option 1. As we have been reading from the beginning that the composition of any quadrilateral requires the value of 5 measurements which are as follows. Length of 4 sides and a diagonal. Length of 3 sides and 2 diagonals measurement of two adjacent sides and three angles measured three sides and two angles between them hence Charu selected option one which is the wrong answer Mira thinks that option two is the correct answer can you tell why she thinks so Absolutely right. Mira knows that the measurement values of the opposite sides and angles of the parallelogram are equal and she thinks that if the measurement values of the two sides are known, then it is possible to construct a parallelogram. Suppose the measurement values of adjacent sides AB and BD of a parallelogram are 7 cm and 5 cm from which we can conclude the following. Yes, in this case a parallelogram will be formed but will it be unique? Let's discuss this. Suppose we construct a parallelogram ABCD in this way. The measurement values of the adjacent sides of ABCD are 7 cm and 5 cm. From these measurements, we can also construct a rectangle. So we can say that by measuring the adjacent sides, a parallelogram will be formed. But it will not be unique because in this way, rectangle can also be created. Therefore, a unique parallel quadrilateral cannot be constructed by the value of adjacent sides only. Now, the question is, how many more measurements do we need in addition to the adjacent sides? Hmm, we have the measurement value of all the sides of a parallelogram. So how many angles will make a unique parallelogram? Let us discuss this. Yes, if we know the measurement value of a single angle, then the measurement value of all the angles can be found since the angles of the parallelogram have equal measurement values and the adjacent angles are complementary. For example, if the measurement of adjacent arms in equation has a value of 7 cm and 5 cm and measurement of angle B is equal to 70 degrees, we get angle A and angle D equal to 110 degrees and angle C will be equal to 70 degrees. In this way, we found the measurements of all the angles of the parallelogram. And taking these values, a parallelogram can be created. 
In this way, we need only three measurements, two adjacent sides and one angle to create a parallelogram. So, Sonia's answer is absolutely correct. Today, we saw the misconceptions associated with the design of the quadrilateral.